Hi, I'm Shane Kale with SEM Connections. As part of our Get Smart series, I'm going to walk you through the pyramid forecasting functionality in SAP IVP. This functionality allows you to take a forecast at the top of a product hierarchy and disaggregate the forecast down to lower levels based on proportional factors, and also aggregate forecasts back up to the highest level of the product hierarchy. For the demonstration today, I'm going to walk you through an example of a soft drinks manufacturer that produces different types of soft drinks, show you how they begin with a forecast at the top of their product hierarchy, and use pyramid forecasting to disaggregate the forecast all the way down to the customer level. From a process overview perspective, I'll start at the top of the pyramid with the product group level being the highest point in my forecasting hierarchy. Then I'll go down a level to split my product group forecast into product families. Within each product family, I'll split my forecast into products or SKUs. Finally, I'll split my product forecast among my customers so that I'm left with the forecast for product customer combinations at my lowest level of the pyramid. With the pyramid forecasting, I can aggregate up to the product group level and disaggregate down to the customer level and everything ties together so that all levels are consistent. Now let's walk through an example of the soft drinks manufacturer. Let's say I have a forecast of a thousand units for the soft drinks product group. To split the forecast into product families, I can say that cola will represent 60% of sales and lemon lime will get the remaining 40%. Therefore, I'll forecast cola sales to be 600 units and lemon lime to be 400 units. Then I can take my 600 unit forecast for cola and split that into regular and diet products. Perhaps regular will represent 75% of sales and diet will get the remaining 25%. So I'll forecast regular cola sales to be 450 units and diet to be 150 units. Finally, I can take my regular cola forecast of 450 units and split it among my three customers evenly at 33% apiece. Therefore, each customer will have a forecast for 150 units of regular COLA. Now let's take a look at how this functionality works in IVP. In this example, I have a product group forecast for soft drinks for 1,000 units per month, and I need to split the forecast among my product families of COLA and lemon lime. I've established proportional factors of 60% of sales going to COLA, and the remaining 40% going to lemon lime. So I will run the copy and disaggregate key figure operator in IVP to disaggregate my product group forecast at the product family level and my soft drinks product group. Once the operator is finished processing, I'll refresh from my planning view and see the results. I can see that the operator disaggregated 600 units to cola, 400 units to lemon lime. Now that I've forecasted for my product families, I'll move on to forecasting for my individual products. For my proportional factors for COLA, I have a 25% assigned to diet and 75% assigned to regular COLA. Same thing goes for my lemon lime family, where I have 25% diet, 75% regular. I can run my copy and disaggregate key figure operator to disaggregate my product family forecast to the product forecast for my soft drinks product group. When the operator is finished, I can refresh my planning view to review my product forecast. For the COLA family, you can see that my 600 unit forecast is disaggregated to 150 units for diet cola. 450 for regular cola to equal a total of 600 units. Same thing occurred for my lemon lime family, where my 400 unit forecast is disaggregated to 100 units for diet and 300 for regular. Now I can move on to, to forecasting at the customer level, which is at the bottom of my pyramid. In this view, I can see my product forecasts along with each customer that purchases that product. I've designated a 33% split evenly among all my customers and products. So for example, I want to take my diet cola forecast of 150 units per month and give one third to the drugstore customer, another third to the grocery store customer, and the final third to the restaurant chain. And the same thing should occur for the even split for the rest of my products and customers. 
I will go in once again to the copy and disaggregate key figure operator, choose my product to customer option, and choose my soft drinks product group. When the operator is finished, I'll refresh my planning view to view the final forecast at a customer level. As you can see, the results took my 150 unit forecast for Diet Cola and gave 50 to each of my three customers. The same thing occurred for regular Cola. Our 450 unit forecast got split evenly among my customers for 150 units apiece. Finally, I can go to my summary tab to review the results at all levels to make sure that the aggregation and disaggregation is equal. Now I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.